no light. Let him trust in the name of the Lord and stay upon his God because things are going to be different from now on. Yeah. Romans chapter 4. Romans chapter 4. I'm reading from verse 18. Romans chapter 4, verse 18. Who against hope believes in hope. There's nothing hopeless in your life. Nothing hopeless in your family. Nothing hopeless about your loved ones. You have, uh, you know, somebody overseas, and you have somebody far away, and they're sending letter, they're sending SOS, help our soul. They say, I'm going through this and that tonight. Write back to them. Things have changed. Because nothing hopeless in your extended family again in Jesus' name. Who against hope believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations according to that which was spoken, so shall thy seed be. Barrenness is cancelled. And be not weak in faith, he considered not his own body now dead when he was about an hundred years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb, he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. No more staggering. I said no more staggering, no more unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God and being fully persuaded. Any fully persuaded person here today and being fully persuaded that what he had promised, tell me, what he had promised, what he had promised, was able also to perform. Today is a day of performance. Acts chapter 16. Acts chapter 16, verse 25. Acts chapter 16, verse 25. The prayer and the praise of a trusting soul. The prayer and the praise of a trusting soul. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about you. You'll pray and you'll praise the Lord. Look at what will happen. Acts chapter 16, verse 25. And at midnight... Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises, prayer and praise unto God. And the prisoners had them. And tell me, tell me how your problem will vanish away. Tell me how the joy will come. Tell me how your body will be rolled away. Tell me how your body will be healed. Tell me how the oppression will vanish away. Tell me how the demon's power will be broken. Tell me how the job will come. And suddenly, there was a great earthquake. Amen? So that the foundations of your prison are shaking. And immediately, all the doors were opened. And everyone's bands on that side, on this side, on that side, over there, everywhere, everyone's bands, my brother, everyone's bands, my sister, everyone's bands, my boy, my girl, everyone's bands were loose. Thank God today is the day. We're coming to point number three now, and we're coming to Psalm 42. Psalm 42. I'm reading from verse 6. Psalm 42, we're looking at verse 6. The priority and the pursuit of a transformed soul. The priority and the pursuit of a transformed soul. Verse 6, Psalm 42. Oh my God, my soul is cast down within me. Therefore, will I remember thee from the land of Jordan and of the Hammonites and from the hill of Mizah. 
verse 11. Why hast thou cast down, O my soul? Why art thou disquieted within me? Hope in God. My brother, are you there? Hope in God. Dear sister, are you there? Answer me now. Hope in God. Those problems you see today, you'll see them no more in Jesus' name. For I, for I, somebody for I, somebody for I, say it, for I shall yet praise him. Why, why am I losing your voice? I shall yet praise him. Who is the health of my countenance and my God? Your time has now come. I said your time has now come. It's a priority. It's a pursuit. Look at Matthew chapter 6. And I'm reading from verse 31. Matthew chapter 6. Verse 31, therefore, take no thought, no anxiety tonight, no worry tonight, no palpitation of the heart tonight. Give me good, good amen. No perplexity tonight, no confusion tonight. Therefore, take no thought, saying, what shall we eat or what shall we drink? Or where with them shall we be closed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. Amen. Amen. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And tell me. Put your name there. And tell me all. I said, put your name there, and all, all these things shall be added unto you. All, all, somebody shout all. all. Romans chapter 8, verse 32. Romans chapter 8, verse 32. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, for us all. How many people? For us all. For how many people? For us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Freely give us, tell me, all things. Tonight is your night. Third John, third epistle of John. I'm reading from verse 2. Third epistle of John, verse 2. Beloved, any beloved child of God here today? Beloved, beloved brother, beloved sister, beloved child, beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper. Look at him, verse talking about me. I said he's talking about me. It's talking about me, that thou mayest prosper. Amen. And be in health. Amen. Even as thy soul prospereth, you will prosper in everything you do. Your health will come back to the optimum again in Jesus' name. And your soul will prosper in Jesus' name. As we seek the Lord, we're going to find the blessing of the Lord. Your soul should not be cast down. Your soul should not be weary. You should not be tired of the journey. You should not think that anything is over. Nothing is over. We're starting afresh. New strength. New power. New courage. New blessing healing in your body, strength in your soul, power in your spirit, prosperity on your job. 
and the work of God will prosper in your hand in Jesus' name. Let's rise up today. Today is the day of blessing. Today is a day of seeking after the Lord. Open your mouth and the Lord said he will fill up your mouth. Open up your mouth, open your mouth and the Lord says I will fill you with blessing. Tell the Lord, tell the Lord, tell the Lord. Tell your soul not to be perplexed. Tell your soul not to be worried. Tell your soul not to be anxious. Tell your soul not to be hopeless. Tell your soul not to give up and say, Lord, I'm here today. Today is the day of my blessing. Today is the day of my turning around. Today is the day it will wipe out all my tears. Open your mouth wide and I will feel it. Open your mouth wide and I will feel it. My heart is panting. My heart is longing. My heart is desiring. My heart is after something. I must be blessed today. I must be blessed today. Wilderness experience is over. Desert experience is over. Hopelessness is over. Sadness is over. Here is your day, the day of blessing. Open your mouth wide. Open your mouth wide. Open your mouth wide. And I will feel it. He brought water out of the rock. He'll bring honey out of the rock for you. He'll bring blessing out of the rock for you. That rock is Christ. Happiness in him, joy in him, revival in him, refreshing in him, power in him, authority in him, healing in him, deliverance in him, hope thou in God. Oh, that my people had hearkened unto me, and Israel had watched in my ways, as your son have subdued their enemies. The Ammonites will conquer themselves. The Moabites will conquer themselves. Your enemies will conquer themselves. He will turn his mighty hand against your adversary. And the haters of the Lord shall have submitted themselves. They shall have fed them also with the finest of wheat. And with honey out of the rock. Honey out of the rock. Honey out of the rock. Would I have satisfied them? Tonight is the night of your satisfaction. Disappointment is gone. Discouragement is gone. Tiredness is gone. Weariness is gone. All your doubts are gone. He answers every prayer tonight. He answers every prayer tonight. He will not forget you. He will not forsake you. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? Hope thou in God. Hope thou in God. For I shall yet praise him. I shall yet praise him. In the hells of my countenance, he is my God. He is your God. He is my God. 
He has answered your prayer. He has answered your prayer. Now praise him. Now praise him. Now praise him. Offer him praise. Give him praise. He cannot fail. Praise him. He has answered. Praise him. He has delivered you. Praise him. He has healed you. Praise him. He has crushed the enemy. Praise him. He has taken your fears away. Praise him. He has set you free. Praise him. He has given you a new vision. Praise him. A new power. Praise him. A new vitality. Praise him. The Lord is on your side. Praise him. Now you're making the priority of your life. The pursuit of your life. The center of your life. And you know you are special. Special. In the sight of the Lord. Beloved. 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 Your soul will prosper. Your body will be healthy. And everything you set your hand upon will prosper. Praise him. And make him the priority and the pursuit of your life. Thank him, thank him, thank him. Give on unto him. Exalt him. Magnify him. Praise him. In Jesus' name we pray. And the victorious people of God said, And the hopeful people of God said, And the delivered people of God said, The Lord has answered your prayer. A new strength in your life. From today, you'll go from strength to strength in Jesus' name. Righteousness in your life. Power in your life. Courage in your life. Authority in your life. Victory in your life. It is confirmed in Jesus' name. Raise up your hand for your victory. From tonight, you are more than a conqueror. I said you are more than a conqueror. Victory from now all the way in Jesus' name. Authority of the believer in your life from now on in Jesus' name. Power. I said power. Passion. Authority. Answered prayer joy he will do it through your life and in your life in jesus name father in the name of jesus we thank you for the special place you have placed every believer here tonight and i thank you for the victory thank you for the joy thank you for the power thank you for the breakthrough i pray for every brother and every sister Every promise we've heard of today be fulfilled in every life in Jesus' name. 
Discouragement gone. Disappointment gone. All that pressure, all that opposition gone in Jesus' name. The pain of persecution totally squashed and totally crushed and totally destroyed in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, every dry ground will become rivers of living water. Let, be, let there be refreshing in every life. Revival in every life. Renewal in every life. And I pray, Lord, all those who are thirsty for your righteousness, fill them up with righteousness in Jesus' name. All those who are thirsty for Holy Ghost power, I pray that your power will come from the throne of God, come upon them in Jesus' name. Tiredness, gone. Weariness, gone. Lukewarmness, gone. Lethargy all gone. Coldness all gone. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost burn in every heart in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for those who have missed miracles, miracles, miracles. Every time they have prayed, they have fasted, they have had other prayer for them, and yet what they were looking for, they didn't get today. Today. Today is the day of their answered prayer in Jesus' name. Give them the miracle they need. Give them the blessing they need. And I pray, Lord, this blessing will continue. This power will continue. Everybody without exception will have a testimony in Jesus' name. We know you have answered. We know you have done it. Give a new song to every believer. We thank you because we know it is done. In Jesus' name I pray.